What's going on, Vikings fans? Welcome to Vikings now, celebrating a big-time victory over the New Orleans Saints. And I just want to say this first. No matter how the victory is done, no matter if the Saints did come back like they did today, it feels oh so good to just beat the New Orleans Saints. The Vikings won five in a row with no Justin Jefferson, no K.J. Osborne today. Vikings were still able to pull off a victory against a pretty good Saints team. Like, Saints are a pretty good football uh, team over there in New Orleans, and uh, Vikings are able to pull off a win. So that was great, great by them. Dive into all the stats and more on today's little post-game instant reaction show. So make sure you guys stay tuned during this whole time. But the Vikings do get a win. And uh, listen, man, I think a big big reason of that was because of Josh Dobbs. Uh, Josh Dobbs was great today. 23-34. Uh, Obviously, the offense went a little numb there in the second half, only scoring three points in the entire second half. Vikings got outscored 18-3 or 16-3 in the second half. But overall, I thought Josh Dobbs was so good. I mean, the fact that the Vikings pretty much swapped a seventh and a sixth for him is incredible. Like, I've, I've, I've said this when the Vikings traded for him. Like, no, Josh Dobbs is not a top 10 guy. But if you give these quarterbacks a good support system around them, they can perform well, and I think that's what we're seeing right here with him. Like, 23 of 34, 268 yards and a touchdown, and he doesn't even have Justin Jefferson. Like, that's what's so crazy about this whole experience is, like, the Vikings aren't at full strength. Like, yes, Kirk Cousins isn't there. That's the biggest miss of the whole year, but you still don't have K.J. Osborne. You still don't have Jefferson. Even a guy like Marcus Davenport. Like, you forget that guy. Like, he's still out there doing his thing, so... Josh Dobbs, I do want to give a lot of credit to him. Even though it was ugly in the second half, dude's 2-0 as a starter in Minnesota. He's been here for 10 days. Like, really think about that, guys. Like, he's been here for 10 days, and he's 2-0 as a starter with two big-time wins against the Falcons and Saints. And the Vikings get the 6-4. and four. And also, another reason why this game was so big for the Vikings, they now have a 74% chance to make this playoff, or to make the playoffs this year. If they would have lost... It would have been 41%. So, ah, just another big-time win for Josh Dobbs. That's why I want to show him some love. Down in the chat right now, type those 15s. Show QB1 some love. Guys, I want to sit back later tonight when I'm looking at the comments of this video, and I just want to see it flooded with 15s down below. Show Josh Dobbs some love. I just, I, I just can't believe it. It's really one of those things. I just can't believe, like, he is playing as well as he did. But then again, like I said it, like if you get him the right support system around him, like he is going to be able to ball out and he hasn't even thrown to this guy right here. When this guy comes back next week, Sunday night versus the Broncos, you better, you, you guys better buckle up. But type those 15s down in the comment section. Just going over some generalized stats here. Um, Derek Carr did get hurt late in the third quarter. Um, so Jameis Winston did have to step in, and Jameis just kind of said, F it, like, I'm going to start throwing the ball, and I'm going to start throwing 50-50 chances, and that's what he did. I mean, he hit, he hit Chris Olave for a nasty touchdown in the back right of the end zone, but really this game wasn't as close as the score maybe made it out to be. Like, the Vikings played well this entire night, um, really played well, obviously, in the first half. They kind of just maintained in the second, which obviously, like, some possessions were very frustrating on offense. Like, I thought Kevin O'Connell – Got very vanilla in spots, but he still looked very good. Um, I and mean, you put up 27 points against a good Saints defense. Like, that's credit. Give credit where credit is due. So, um, yeah, Vikings do win, though, 27-19. Ty Chandler. Ty Chandler got a lot of run, which we'll dive into him here in a second. We'll also dive into TJ Hawkinson because I think I owe TJ Hawkinson the biggest apology in the world. I mean, he had 11 receptions. Think about this. 11 reception for 134 yards. Like, incredible out of TJ. Absolutely incredible out of TJ. So, shout out to TJ Hawkinson, man. Um, just balling out, balling out. But before we dive into more around our post game or more into our post game show here at Vikings now, I do want to give a huge shout out to Game Time. We're sponsoring today's post game reaction show. And if you guys go, download the Game Time app. Use the code VIKINGSCHAT. You guys will get $20 off your first purchase. What is game time? Game time has the best seats and lowest price guaranteed. Anytime you guys need tickets to a concert, 
an art show, a game, no matter what sport it is, NBA, NFL, college football, basketball, women's basketball, whatever it may be, make sure you guys lose game time. Listen, I love it. The prices drop uh, as the event gets closer. Normally, it's the opposite on other uh, ticket purchasing uh apps or websites, but game time does it better. It is truly their lowest price guaranteed. And if you guys want to go to the Saints game today, hey, you could have saw your view straight from your phone. You can literally look around and see where you will be sitting. Anytime I get tickets, I use game time, and they're hooking it up for Vikings fans by giving you guys $20 off their first purchase if you guys do use that code, Vikings Chat, V-I-K-I-N-G-S-C-H. AT, use that code right there, Vikings Chat, and you guys will uh, you guys won't regret it. So make sure you guys use that code. Get hooked up with Game Time today. Make sure to put that link for you guys in the comment section and the description of today's show. Let's continue breaking down the game here. Um, twenty-seven to nineteen, Vikings do end up getting the victory, and I kind of want to give some just uh, special love to a couple players on the team. Um, starting off, I think we can start it with this guy. You guys may say I'm biased or saying I'm showing love to a guy who really didn't play too, too well, but Ty Chandler. I mean, 15 carries, 44 yards. They actually ran a beautiful play. It was uh, – so Dobbs was under center. He was under center. Ty Chandler, the backfield, he motions out. So then it's kind of like a wildcat, and then Ty Chandler just breaks it off left. I thought it was a beautiful play design. They also ran another one where it's Ty Chandler and Josh Dobbs. They ran a little QB option. Uh, Ty Chandler ignored it, was kind of a lead blocker. For Dobbs on that one, I thought that was another beautiful play design um, by Kevin O'Connell. But speaking of KOC, he he kind of got cute at the end of the game, um, just calling it like it is. Like he really did get cute at the end of it. Like I just felt like he didn't trust Dobbs enough. And I think like with this Vikings team, like treat Dobbs as if he was a top fifteen quarterback. Like I think that's the point I kind of want to make right now. Is like I understand like you don't want to like put him in a position where he can lose the game, but also, like, put him a, put him in a position where he can win the game. And I don't know, man. I just felt like Kevin O'Connor got a little too uh, got a little too cute at the end of the game. So, listen, it was great seeing him back. He looked great. Ty Chandler, hopefully he gets more carries in the future. But uh, this guy right here, um, TJ Hawkinson, I'm sorry. Uh, I have just formally owe you an apology after the first four weeks of the – First four weeks of the season, I was calling for your name to be cut from this roster, and you have uh, proven me wrong, man. 11 receptions, 134 yards today, and had the touchdown. Really just been that safety blanket for Josh Dobbs, and I can't wait to see what this offense is going to look like, especially with uh, Justin Jefferson coming back soon. So shout out to Hawk. He played well. Addison balled out during the first half. Four receptions, 29 yards. Thought he played really, really well as well. Um, just keep doing what you're doing, man. Just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, Jordan Addison, your true wide receiver one. And once Jefferson comes back, he's gonna be able to, you know, exploit a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, you know, calls there. But uh, listen, Josh Dobbs, eight carries, 44 yards. He's got that dual threat ability, which I love. Um, so honestly, just this Vikings team, like to kind of sum up the thoughts here. Um, let me get myself full screen here. To kind of sum up the thoughts here is this overall. I think this team is special. Um, you're six and four. You started off 0 and three. You started off one and four. Your starting quarterback tears his Achilles for the year. Your best player on the team, the best wide receiver in the NFL, he uh, goes to IR for five games with a hamstring injury, and you rattled off five wins in a row. You were one and four. Now you're six and four with a game against the Denver Broncos and the Bears and the Las Vegas Raiders the next three weeks. All I'm saying is this team is a team that nobody wants to play, and uh, it's pretty freaking cool that we're rooting for them here in Minnesota, but. Overall, Vikings play really well. Heart, heart attack there at the end, but the Vikings do get it done. But five straight wins is five straight wins in the NFL, and that's kind of uh, the main, main point I do want to make. So, listen, Vikings do get, end up getting a victory. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel at Vikings Today here on YouTube if you guys haven't already. But I appreciate everybody who tuned in for a watch party. Um, and also our post-game show. So thank you guys so much. Vikings get a big-time win, 27-19 over those scumbag New Orleans Saints. So felt good. Vikings win. See you all next time. Let's go Vikes.